Welcome back to LDB Games. I'm Lord Darth Balls, and this is going to be a video about how to beat the Scarab King with a free-to-play legendary, Euros the Soul Cage. He does solo this fight. You'll notice I have a couple other top-tier uh, champions in here. They are not necessary. The only critical uh, champion in this team is Euros. You could essentially fill in everything else that you need. Uh, this is the easiest and most reliable way. Uh, if you're looking for uh, how to beat the boss based on the mechanics themselves, I'll pin to the video I just put up uh, up top on a guide on how I beat it with a little bit more of a free-to-play friendly, uh, free friendly team. Obviously, Eurost is free, but he's really more like free to earn as you have to earn the 100 fragments through uh, beating the secret rooms in the Doom Tower on hard. When you do get him, however, um, I wasn't able to beat Floor 100 until I did unlock him. So I was working through the hard Doom Tower, uh, beating the secret rooms when I could, and when I got to 100 fragments and I got Eurost, all of a sudden it unlocked the ability for me to complete the Doom Tower uh, on the rotations that have the Scarab King. And this works for any of the rotations, right? Scarab King shows up on, uh, I believe, two of the rotations, and this strategy works for both, and there's no need for any variation in what you do. Uh, it's just an affinity change to the other um, to the other rotations. So, Euros, why is he so good for this fight? You'll notice I still don't quite have him booked. Um, I threw a couple books into him last CVC, but I had a couple other champs that were a bit higher of a priority for me. Um, his A1 puts a shield on him, which is nice because it just... More protection, but it's really not very necessary. Uh, his A2 is an AoE with a chance to decrease turn meter of champions under poison debuffs. Uh, also a chance to land decreased speed. However, the decreased speed is not really what we want. We really just want the poisons, and I'll talk about that in a second. And then his A3 has an ally protection and strengthen just for damage mitigation. But the real gem of his kit is in his passive. So when he's attacked, it's a 50% books to a 75% chance of placing a poison on the attacker for two turns. The rest of this, um, this doesn't matter. This one does. Um, it increases his max HP by 5% when enemy, whenever an enemy receives damage from a poison debuff that he places. Um, and it also destroys their max HP. That part of it is not as important, really only the first half of it is. And now, the reason that this works is because I have him running very slow, right? 158. And the strategy behind this is we want the Scarab King to take as many turns as possible to my one, because every time he attacks, I've got a chance to put up a poison. So we beat this boss by using poisons only with Eurost the Soul Cage. Let's take a deep dive into his stats, right? Uh, I have him built with 94,000 HP, 2,500 defense, there's that 158 speed, and I have him with 379 accuracy. Now, the Scarab on floor 100 in the Hard Doom Tower has resistance of about 330, so the sweet spot for accuracy is like 355 to ensure that you're able to land the poisons without getting resisted. And the HP and defense is to keep him alive, right? His A, uh, what was it? His A, his passive gives him max HP when Borgoth takes damage from poison, giving him more health. So you want to make sure that you start with a nice fat pool of HP so that he can just get more health as time goes on. Because he needs to survive, right? And to do that, I have him built in a four-piece regen set and a two-piece immortal set, right? Regen heals by 15% every turn, and immortal gives an extra HP bump and heals by 3% each turn. Uh, so you're getting about an 18% heal every turn. You'll see I went for accuracy, HP, HP percentage, accuracy. I went with a little resist too, because like a little resist couldn't hurt. Borgoth's uh, accuracy is only like 200. Um, so 250 to 300 resistance would be nice to have. But again, it's not a necessity. He does put out a lot of debuffs though. So it just helps last, uh, helps the fight go faster at the end of the day. Um, and I've got HP gauntlets with accuracy and a little bit of defense percentage. 
HP chest with a nice triple roll in defense percentage and accuracy. And then I've got speed boots on him. You can run him in HP boots. However, I... I don't know. I, uh, I don't know that I have HP boots actually in regen, um, and I didn't really have a good couple regen pieces here. Um, but this works, so I didn't see any need to fiddle with it, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So <laughs> that's where we are. Uh, for the banner, I went with accuracy to make sure that I get to the accu accuracy stats I'm looking for. What a surprise, HP on the amulet with a nice triple roll of speed, and HP with HP percentage on the ring. Now, in terms of masteries, I did go down, let me move myself out of the way, I did go down the uh, offense tree in addition to the support tree, just so that, you know, Warmaster can do some extra damage, right? It just helps speed the fight up a little bit at the end of the day. Um, but the support tree is really where he shines, right? You get some extra accuracy. Uh, this increases the value that his shield on his A1 goes up for, uh, as does this one here. And you can actually get this increased healing buff on the sets that you have. It applies to regen and immortal as well. Um, little turn meter boost here. When a buff cast by him is removed or expires, he puts out three buffs on himself. Chance for him to just get his turn again. Again, not really necessary, but I took that to get down to Laura Steel so that I could get more HP from the immortal set. I then went with Sniper to increase the chances on his passive of landing the poison by 5%, right? When he is inevitably booked, that puts it up to 80%. Uh, and then I took Spirit Haste, so it does increase his speed for each dead ally. Again, not a necessity, and I it might even go faster without this. Um, but I took it anyway, just because speed is huge, and, and I do use Eurost in Faction Wars, so I don't want him to be terribly slow. Uh, I do want him moving at least somewhat. But I have seen builds that solo this with Scarab running at like 120 speed or 130 speed. So it's possible. Um, yeah, so then the other four champions, like I said in the beginning, they, they don't really have relevance. It doesn't matter who they are. All that matters is that they're able to help you clear the waves. Eurost is not strong enough. He doesn't, he's not built to do damage. So it's not really a viable option to allow him to just solo the waves. Um, so I brought in three damage dealers, um, right? Leo, Skullcrown, and Septimus just to bring damage into the fight. And I've got Iron Brago in here for some damage mitigation for the waves. Um, this allows me to use sort of, you know, Skullcrown's a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, Septimus is two, I believe. They're not really, they're not built tanky, right? They're built for damage. Um, so I needed some type of support champion, right? He's a defense-based champion, but he brings support. He's got increased defense, he's got provokes and decreased attack, and he's got some stuns. Um, so it, it really just helps empower my three damage dealers to get through the wave. That's what I got, guys. Just a quick note on the speed. Um, if you are doing trying to build him without speed boots or without, I think it's Arcane Celerity, the uh, speed for dead allies, um, just be wary that in order to get the heals from Immortal and Regen set, he has to take a turn. So you may you, you may have to build him a lot more tanky if you drop the speeds on your champion so that he can stay alive, right? The increased speed allows me to get more heals over time to keep my HP topped up. Uh, so I'm going to put a clip of the run at the end of the video for those that want to check it out. Uh, if I've helped you at all, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, help me grow and help you get some more informational, informational and useful content. Uh, and thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate the view. I'm Lord Darth Balls. I'll catch you on the next video. Enjoy your raid.
Oh, 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 oh,